Rick, how you doing, my brother? Sean. Good to see you, dude. Yeah. Well, uh, I appreciate you taking the time for this um, because you are, I think, the father figure for many, many tattoo artists. So let's start with uh, how you got into the, the tattoo biz and why. When I was 14, I had Ann Pope born to raise hell on my leg. <laughs> That's cool. And, Let's my, see that. and my dad took me down to Bird Grimm's, and Zeke Owens covered it with the Black Panther. In uh, probably 63, I got a machine. It was a Owen Jensen animal marker. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you're familiar with those. And so I started messing up a bunch of my friends with that. <laughs> And me and this other kid opened a shop up in Lawndale in 1965. Okay. And we ran that for a while. What was the end of that shop? It was just Rick's tattoo. <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah. Sure. So I went to work for Colonel Todd and Bob Shaw out in City of Industry. Okay. The tattoo yeah. gallery, which eventually became Fat George's tattoo gallery. Just give me a little background on Colonel Todd, who's uh, the person that uh, Mark Mahoney apprenticed me, and if I'm not mistaken, Colonel Todd apprenticed him. Yeah, me and Colonel Todd taught Mark how to well, tattoo. You both did. Yeah, basically. Mark worked at the Rose, and so, I mean, he was a great artist from the get-go. I mean, that guy could draw anything. So basically, we just helped him out with the mechanical aspects of making the ink stay under the skin. Gotcha. And now he owns one of the best shops in the United States. It's one of the best shops in the world. Yeah, and yeah. I mean, he tattoos everybody, you know, all the famous movie stars. And he's got a great crew. Oh, yeah, everybody I mean, that works there. And half the people that work there are part of my tattoo family. Well, when I first started tattooing, there was no suppliers. Right. Yeah, you bought pigments, you know, in a powder form, and you made the ink. And you bought loose needles. They were just uh, number 12 sewing needles. They actually were made for doing embroidery and beadwork. And you made your own needles, and we actually made our own tubes. Mm. You know, you, we made everything. You didn't have, you know, there was no companies. There was nothing that you could get. You painted all of the flash. that so We couldn't buy flash. Yeah. You know, one of your buddies might paint a sheet and give it to you, but everything in the shop was all hand-painted watercolors. Mm -hmm. If it wasn't watercolors, it didn't go on the wall. You aren't really using any pneumatic, and you're not using rotary machines? No. Not at all? No. Okay, cool. Um, I use real tattoo machines. Right. <laughs> As do I. But And most of them are the ones that I actually help design. Okay, you cool. Know, the, That's what I want to get into. The Catfish Carl's selling the Jim Dandy tattoo machine right now, <laughs> and me and Colonel Todd, taught Catfish Car how to make those. Okay, Originally, cool. it was me and Todd down at Burt Grimm's making them. Right. And then Todd moved to 29 Palms, and Carl, who worked for us, moved over with him. Well, tell me about Burt Grimm's a little bit. Uh, Burt Grimm's was opened in 1927, and it ran until 2003. Burt Grimm's was the tattooed man for Buffalo Bill Cody's Wild West show. Oh, I dig it, man. With That's Annie cool. Oakley and Sitting Bull and all the really famous people that were in that show. That show, he the was tour. a tattoo it was a guy. touring show, right. right? Yeah. And he tattooed all of them. You That's know? really cool. And then when he was in St. Louis, he tattooed Bonnie and Clyde. And from what I understand, Dillinger. No kidding. Yeah. That's great history. Yeah, that was when he was in the St. Louis area. Bob Shaw was Burt Grimm's nephew, and he got the shot from Burt back in the 60s. Carrie Barba, who was part of my family, bought the property and reopened it as a tattoo shop. So it's still the oldest tattoo shop in the United States. That's fantastic. Rick Walters is one of the last working tattoo artists of his generation, and we're lucky to have spent a little bit of time with him today.